Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. The interaction that I'm about to share with you is one of, if not the most disturbing display of behavior that I have seen from any Dead by Daylight streamer. It's pathetic is the word that comes to mind. And gross. I feel like when you watch it, you just kind of feel, you kind of feel icky. This streamer and their group of friends say a number of horrible things, as well as incite harassment towards another streamer. Uh, so let's just, I'm gonna give a little bit of backstory before we jump into the footage. A streamer by the name of Sin Pain was live doing some killer matches and played a Legion match that was redeemed by one of the people in her community. And she played against a four-man Survivor with friends that brought her to Haddonfield. Now, one of these survivors was also a Twitch streamer and was not at all happy with the result of the match. As always, with situations like this, the survivors were making a lot of bad decisions, making a lot of mistakes, and uh, they were staying grouped up together, which is one of the worst things you can do against a Legion. Uh, they were just playing very poorly, which is fine, but then, you know, obviously we have the, the entitlement where they, they lose and play poorly, but then they blame it on how the killer played. Obviously, losing in a game, if you're a competitive person, uh, can be tough, and you might want to shift the blame onto the opposing side. You know, maybe you just don't want to admit that you played badly. Fair enough, but I feel like the level that this streamer and their friends take it to is just so far beyond what is necessary. And I'm going to be honest, that's just saying it nicely. I mean, this, this is pretty fucked up. So now let's start analyzing the footage. I'm going to start with when this streamer dies their reaction to dying and seeing that it's a Twitch streamer and then seeing that it's a girl Twitch streamer and then what they say when they open up their stream. Let's start with that. Yep. I'm fucking dead. Yeah, it's a fucking Twitch streamer. Let's look him up. And it's a fucking girl, dog. I'm gonna fucking put a fucking hole through my wall. So clearly very upset about dying and then gets very fueled up when they see that it's a Twitch streamer and then gets even more fueled up when he sees that it's a girl Twitch streamer and says that he wants to put a hole through his wall. You'll see very quickly here that uh, this guy is not a fan of female Twitch streamers. He might not be a fan of females in general based on how he acts. I don't know. She's fucking ugly, bro. Fuck you. I asked her why why did you have to camp the hooks on first hooks and she's like well you guys were dumb you guys stayed in the vicinity what did you want me to do <laughs> bitch shut the fuck up oh my god what are you talking about you mean we had to go for the save because that's part of our fucking job as survivors you fucking yeah. skank all right a lot to dissect there so already he's so upset that he died that he immediately pulled up her stream is upset that it's a female says that she's ugly and calls her a skank he also claimed that she called them dumb for playing the way that they did, but that's not what she said. This is what she actually said. Dude, that's where everybody was. But what did you want me to do, Fuzzy? Did you want me to leave and let you guys reset? Is that what you wanted me to do? So rather than call him and his friends dumb, she said, well, what did you want me to do in that situation? You guys were all there. Did you want me to, to just leave and go to the other side of the map so you guys could get the save and, and all heal up and, you know, reset, you know, go get back on your generators and just basically me just let you win or let you have a better chance of winning? She's trying to clarify, like, well, what's the problem? Like, if, if, if you're all around the hook, I'm going to stay around the hook. It, there's no reason for me to leave. And just because I know that some of you shitheads out there who do think that camping and tunneling warrant this stuff, let's actually analyze the, the moment that they're talking about to see if her camping was justified. So she hooks a survivor, goes inside the house, and two survivors finish a gen right in front of her, right next to the hook. She downs Claudette, and then she tries to go get a hit on Jill just to create some pressure. Loses Jill, goes back to pick up the Claudette, sees Michaela going for the save, capitalizes on that, so they're all in the area, and then goes and picks up the Claudette, hooks Claudette, doesn't slug or anything, uh, lets them get the save, picks them up, hooks them, and then at this point, leaves the area, and does frenzy instead of, you know, instead of continuing to slug and camp, and I mean, she could have won the game right there. But she didn't. She didn't slug hardcore and camp hardcore. She just capitalized on survivors grouping together. They were all next to the hook, doing gens right in her face, right next to the hook, while injured, and then rushing for the save when the, t when the killer's tear radius is still there. Uh, the, the Michaela had to have known the Legion was still there. There's a tear radius. Uh, the, the smart thing to do would have been to wait 
until the Legion picked up the Claudette, and then the Michaela should have went in for the save. Instead, they just, like, just beeline, like, you know, going for the farm, and uh, it didn't work out. So, again, they played badly, they made mistakes, and, and she capitalized on that, but, but she didn't even capitalize on it to the extent that she could have. Again, she could have won the match right there, but she didn't. She, she did, in a sense, let them reset. So while this guy is throwing a tantrum like a toddler in her Twitch chat, her community starts to defend her, as any person's uh, community would defend them if they were saying, you know, horrible stuff like this. And this is his response to her community sticking up for her. And look at it, look at these, all these fucking, all these no. fucking simps. Simping for this fucking ugly bitch. So once again, throwing insults at her appearance, calling her a bitch, and saying that all of her following are simps, just because she's a female. You know, if it was a guy, nobody would dare defend- that's just not true. Hey, you go to anybody's Twitch, Twitch stream, regardless of, of gender or whatever, if you, if you start attacking the streamer, their community is going to defend them. I mean, my community does it. Any, any Twitch streamer's community is going to stick up for the streamer they watch. But again, because this guy has such like a, a vendetta against females or female Twitch streamers, if you defend them, they're obviously simps just because it's a female. It's such a crazy mindset. So then his Swift asks him to check what her perks are because they want to know if she has barbecue and chili. And uh, he goes to check, but she has a little symbol blocking her perks. And he's very upset that he's not able to stream snipe. Did, does she have barbecue, Fuzz? Oh yeah, let me check, bro. Oh, she has a fucking emblem over her perks so that if you watch her stream, you can't see them. Oh my god, <laughs> Oh, you fucking whore. You're such a fucking whore. Now we have ugly, skank, bitch, and whore. And he calls her a whore because she hides her perks to avoid people like this guy that want to go in and give out all the information to the rest of his team. I get the feeling this guy's just got a lot of like pent up rage, a lot of pent up resentment or, or something. I don't know if, it, if it's specifically towards females or what, but he's really using this situation to, to let it out and to, to lash out for sure. Um, and, and you'll hear that more as he starts to, uh, you know, say that she's got it so easy uh, because she's a female. Could you imagine being a girl and a killer main? It's like every single fucking thing in your life is just easy. You, you're living on easy mode. Fucking girl Twitch streamer cringe. So he says because she's a Twitch streamer and a female, she's living life on easy mode. So because he is a man and she is a woman, she has it easy and he's got it rough. I don't think this guy's a history buff. Then you heard his friend say fucking girl Twitch streamer cringe which is what he typed into her chat as well, because all the friends end up going in the chat uh, because the streamer themselves said this. If you guys all want to roll into the fucking stream and just start bullying her, that'd be cool too. Very nice, dude. Very nice. At this point, he's broken so much TOS, it's, it's wild. After they all come into her chat and harassing her and saying all kinds of stuff, I, I think she handles herself and defends herself very well. Girl Twitch streamer cringe. So if I was a man, it would be better. Are you guys that fucking pissy that you lost? But yeah, considering, yeah, consider not stacking on hooks and reinspecting how you guys play instead of coming in here and saying girl Twitch streamer cringe. The comment she made about how, so if I was a man, it would be better is, is spot on because you know damn well, if this guy saw that it was a streamer and it was a guy, it probably wouldn't have been a whole lot different. I mean, there wouldn't have been all the sexist comments, but he still would have, been throwing insults, he still would have been mad about how they played, he still would have been throwing a tantrum. Um, he, we, you'll see later on, he does pull up a guy's stream and, and shame him as well. So it, it really didn't matter, uh, but he's just using the fact that it is a female to, to throw shade and to throw, you know, jabs and to try to, like, bring her down. And she's one of those female Twitch streamers that has, the, like, the she puts on a little cutie voice and, like, oh, I'll just break this palette for, for points, guys. Do you mean her voice? Like, it sounds like her voice. Wait, I don't... To, to me, it doesn't sound like she's putting on a fake voice. It just sounds like her voice. She's a female. She's got a higher... What do you... Again, what are you, what are you getting at? Man, like I said, dude, must be nice living on easy mode. 
you're a female Twitch streamer, and you're a fucking killer main, bro. And the fact that she's not even all that, and she has that many viewers is... Yeah. She's ugly. I mean, now, by this point, some of her viewers have gone into his stream because they saw he was live and they were talking shit to him and trying to defend her more in his chat, which I don't think is, is something worth doing. And, and she agrees. She actually uh, says that this is not something you should do. Some of the people from her chat were commenting on the amount of viewers he had saying, oh, you can't talk shit because you have this many viewers. And uh, she immediately shut that down, which I think is like super like uh respectful of her especially considering all the shit that they've said like she still defends the guy which i think says a lot about her character sunny don't say that is she funny the fuck don't say that slots? stop that's you shaming him stop you shaming him you need to stop you shaming him right now or you're gonna get timed out we don't go in and we don't want that rep with our community you know we don't we don't want that rep but don't go in and view shame him or anything like that don't do that now, at first, when her viewers started talking smack, he uh, played it off like uh, he was happy to get the views. And I appreciate all the views. This is, this is great. This is great exposure. Any exposure is good exposure. Now, that comment right there is a main factor to why I haven't shown the name of this streamer or anything. Um, and I'm also uh, making sure that her stream is on private and stuff like that. I just don't want his name getting out there. Uh, mainly for this reason, because he, he wants the attention, he wants the, the exposure. But also because it's not worth, you know, having all that extra just people going in and attacking both sides, whatever. It's just not worth it. It's better for the people who were involved to just report and move on. There's no way that this guy's channel will survive with him acting this way again. He's broken terms of service in pretty much every way. You, you can't act this way as a streamer. You can't incite harassment. You can't say these things about people while live, like about another person, while you have their stream pulled up. Like, it's, everything violates TOS here. Even though he played it off, like he liked the attention at first, he did get very defensive when people mentioned his view count. I'm fucking streaming. I'm a guy. I'm not, I'm not fucking showing face. I don't have a cute voice. I don't have fucking blonde hair. What do you expect from me? You try streaming, dog. See what happens. So this right here makes me feel like a lot of this comes from a place of, like I said earlier, resentment and really jealousy. Um, because he, you know, he hasn't grown. I don't know how long he's been streaming, but he hasn't grown a whole lot and he feels like he doesn't have the tools to succeed that these other people do or that in his words females do and that's just it's just not the case I, I mean i do sympathize with him in the fact that he wants to grow and he's struggling like that that does suck that's a sucky feeling as a small streamer i i've been there i was there a long time um but this is not the way to go about it i think a big reason why people like this don't grow is because of this attitude they're not they're not willing to put in the work they're not willing to put in the time they're not willing to do the networking and making connections they're not willing to you know do a, a lot of what it takes to grow as a streamer after continuing to go on these rants about not being able to succeed because he's a guy there is a, a twitch partner that was in her community that came into his chat just to say you know hey i'm a guy and being female has nothing to do with it you'll never get anywhere with that attitude get some help what jg is saying is hey i'm a guy and I'm, I was able to achieve partnership with Twitch and, and grow. And I, I didn't have to, I didn't do it because I'm a female, because I'm a guy. Like, you, you don't have to be a female to do it. You just have to put in the work. So then the streamer responds by saying this. Dog, if you think it is equally as difficult to get started on Twitch as a girl, get in here? you need to shut the fuck up and kill yourself. Here, I'll send you one. I'm going to get further than you are. You're not fucking streaming. Yep, just when you thought that it couldn't get any worse, he tells this guy to kill himself. Just because he said, hey, I'm a guy, I've been successful on Twitch, being a female has nothing to do with it. Because he said that, and was proving a very valid point, this streamer tells him, kill himself. And then he says, I'm going to go farther than you, you aren't streaming. So then JG simply points out, hey, I'm partnered with Twitch, because it doesn't seem like he got the memo. He said, I'm going to go farther than you. You're not fucking streaming. So it seemed like he didn't even catch the fact that, hey, the guy was trying to tell him, hey, look, I I'm a partner and I'm not a girl. Dog. He's fucking flaunting the fact that he has a fucking partnership with Twitch. Hold on, homie. You know what? We'll check out your lame ass Twitch right now. So now he laughs, saying that JG was flaunting his partnership, which I don't think that he was flaunting at all. I think, again, he was just trying to show that you don't have to be a female to grow on Twitch. But now he's going to pull up his stream and, and flame him now 
because it just seems to be what this guy does. It seems to be how he uh, gets off. I, I don't know, but... Okay, first of all, he's a just, fucking killer main, boys. Just so you know he's invalid. This is the dude roasting me right now? This fucking dude? He looks like he was the fucking patient zero for AIDS, bro. JG, you are a fucking scrub, homeboy. What are you doing with your life? You don't got the looks or the fucking brains. Pulls up his channel, says that he's invalid because he's a killer main. So he's he doesn't like females. He doesn't like killer mains. That much we know. And then he flames his appearance, says he looks like he has AIDS, and then says that he doesn't have the brains or the looks to, to make it anywhere on Twitch. The amount of bitterness in this person and like the, the lack of self-awareness as well. She knows. She fucking knows the only reason she grew on Twitch was because she was a chick. Come on, bro. You think I'm fucking... I'm lying over here? You think I'm fucking lying? He continues to say that she even knows that the only reason she grew on Twitch was because she's a female. No other reason, no hard work, no networking, no putting in a lot of time off stream. And no, 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 all, all the work she's done, uh, everything, it, it's, it doesn't matter. It's just because she's a female and that's, that's his stance. Now, believe it or not, they continue to go deeper and deeper into this hole that they're digging. And let's hear what they have to say about the Dead by Daylight community. I'm sick of the fucking community on this game, bro. Yeah, you're telling me, dog. Literally 90% of this fucking game right now is fucking Twitch streamers, first of all. Second of all... Or gay. Or gay. Yep. So the friend group starts complaining about the way the Dead by Daylight community is. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. And then, on top of that, the, the, his friends are saying that 90% of the player base are Twitch streamers. While his while their friend is streaming on Twitch, hello, and then the streamer himself butts in and says, or gay. Now that it's just so now he has a problem that there is a large LGBTQ or gay community uh, within Dead by Daylight. Now that's a problem too. You you can't be a female. You can't be gay. What what's what are the fucking standards for this guy? I don't get it. You just have to be just have to be a dude. Uh, what? I don't know. The whole thing is just absolutely just. I, I I almost don't have words for it. I just I, I it's it's so strange to me that people like this um are like this, but also not only that they stream it for people to watch. I, I it it's crazy. Um but it, it's the way it is, I suppose. I will have the links for Sin Pain and for JG Dark down below in the description and in the pinned comment, because uh, you know, they they've they, they can take it, you know, they're not in, in distress or anything, but either way, like, to have people say all these horrible things about you and, you know, tell you to kill yourself, uh, whatever, it's, it's, it's not fun. Even, even if you can take it, it probably just doesn't feel good. And um, I feel like, you know, if we should go show some love to them and support because they both seem like great people. Again, I think Sim Payne handled her getting harassed by a, by a group of people there. Uh, I think she handled it really well, very professionally, uh, very respectfully. And yeah, so if you want to go show love to her and to uh, JG, that would be awesome. I'm going to put their links down below. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you've encountered any streamers or players like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's all over a game, by the way. This streamer and their friends said all of that and went through all that, pulling up the stream and pulling up profiles and saying all that because they died in a video game. Just remember that. Love you guys, be kind to your fellow gamers, and I'll see you in the next one.